you're trying to work out where that thread is. You can't quite understand because you're looking at your scopes as to where it is in relationship to you. And by the time you've worked out where they are, they've shot you down. And it's game over. It's becoming ever more of a contested battle space where speed of decision is key to who survives. The key challenge that our pilots have is that often they're flying in a very data-rich battle space. If our tech is not out there, our pilots will be disadvantaged. Ultimately, it would lead to a loss of life. Older Systems is literally going from a black and white square telly and Striker 2 is then going to a modern, high definition, full colour digital flat panel TV. Because effectively that's what we've done. The key difference between Striker 2 and anything else is the ability to provide that colour high resolution image over such a large field of view combined with digital night vision. What we found and what academia have found is that a 40 degree field of view is the kind of difference between feeling like you're looking at something and being in something. We have an optional 3D audio system to operate with Striker, which means that we can very, very accurately pinpoint a sound in space around the pilot. The pilot, even if they have their eyes closed or if they're looking at something else, they can intuitively look at where the sound is coming from, see the symbol and understand what that symbol is saying and then immediately take correct action against it. Now Striker 2 is kind of becoming a mandated piece of equipment. I have spoken to operational UK RAF pilots who have used the Striker helmet in theatre for air-to-ground operations and they've said that it has become a fundamental piece of kit in the way in which they operate their mission. The nations are saying they want every pilot to be equipped with this and it has to be available and reliable. The state of the art of the technology is driving towards a world where in the future pilots are going to be more like battle space commanders than actual pilots. It's really the thing that the pilot relies on for all of their information. Really anything in the cockpit is kind of superfluous or a backup system now. The helmet is the sole flight reference. The helmet is a helmet at the end of the day. We say we protect those, protect us. The helmet is an absolutely perfect embodiment of that. We are protecting our pilots who are protecting us and we are keeping them safe, but we're also giving them discriminating capability when they're in that threat environment as well.